Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more juicy content from me. Hello and welcome back. Listen carefully. People will hate you for doing this, but you have to do it anyway. And what am I talking about? I'm going to share a little story. A and B are friends. Whenever A has a problem, B swoops in to help. Whenever uh, B, I so said whenever A has a problem, B swoops in to help. Whenever B has a problem, she hides it from A as much as possible, acting like she doesn't have any problems, doesn't have any issues, and all of that. Whenever A has anything good going on, B doesn't want to hear about it. Hmm. Weird, right? So let me tell you this thing that you will do, but people will hate you for it. Refusing to play the victim. Refusing to be the victim. Refusing to see yourself as a victim. There are some people who would rather have you as a role of victim in their lives because that, that is how they gain significance. They gain significance from being needed. They're addicted to being needed. Therefore, the people in their lives must need them. And if the people in their lives don't need them, especially for emergencies, then they don't know what to do because they've cast themselves, they've unwittingly cast themselves in the role of a savior or a superman and everybody and everyone around must need them or be of no use to them. That's why you find there are some people that when you tell them your sob story, they jump all over you and they, and they want, they want to, first of all, they want to keep talking about it, right? They want to keep talking about the sob story and going on about it. They want to help, they want to give advice, etc. But when you talk about your victories or how great things are going, they don't want to hear. These people will not even celebrate your occasions with you. Yes, I've seen it happen. They won't even celebrate your occasions with you. But the minute you are down, they, they come rushing in. My One of my cousins calls them suffer friends. I'm like, hmm, that's a new word. <laughs> suffer friend. There are some people that you would that would rather you play the victim than the victor. Now, I'm not saying everybody that tries to help you in time of need wants you as a victim. But anyone who is your good friend should be there for you when things are not too great. And when things are great, happy, to, happy for you, celebrating you, etc. The person who doesn't even want you to have anything good or who downplays anything good wants you to be the victim. How can you recognize these people, right? Number one, they play savior when you have troubles, but disparage or they ignore your successes. They make your successes seem small. They almost turn your successes into problems if you will allow them. Number two, they do their best to undermine your independent thinking. They don't think that you're, you know, they act as if they're your savior and therefore you don't you don't have anything of worth to contribute number three sometimes they pull rank on you like don't you know who i am am i not the one that um helped you when you were down etc etc right these people want you to stay in the victim role because this is where they feel comfortable so they'll pull rank on you trying to remind you that they are superior to you because because honestly, that is how they think. They think they're better than you. They think they're superior to you. So you, they are the savior and you are the victim. And God help you if you try to bust out of that role. Then they find reasons to not be your friend. They find reasons to disparage you. They find reasons to make you seem like there's something wrong with you. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. These are people who subconsciously, they don't even, sometimes they don't even have an idea. They don't know that this is what they're doing. They're not setting out to, to purposely say, well, you are going to be my victim forever. No, this is just how they are. 
they'll pull rank on you to remind you of their so-called superiority. Number four, they may remind you of your past mistakes. Oh, don't you remember? Oh, I remember when, I remember when you, yeah, I remember when you first came here. You didn't have anything. Huh? So, so what? Who, who came to the world with anything? <laughs> they will remind you of your past mistakes. They will remind you of how they swooped in to help you. The minute you decide you're going to think independently, the minute you decide you don't need their help, they will come back and remind you of your past mistakes time and time again. They'll keep wanting to talk about the fall. They'll keep wanting to talk about when this happened to you and that happened to you and the other happened to you. Um, when you're with them, number five, when you're with them, all your self-doubt comes back. It may not even matter how long, maybe you've not been in their lives for a while, etc., etc. When you're with them, all your self-doubt comes rushing back in and you're like, oh gosh, am I sure I can do this, etc., etc. If, if when you're with somebody, you leave them doubting yourself, feeling down every single time, then there's something wrong. Then there's something wrong. If someone is your friend, they should at least uplift you from time to time. So when you're, if you're with them, your self-doubt comes back. These are probably people who would rather have you as a victim than a victor. Now, number six, the bolder you get, the more uncomfortable with you they become. Now, maybe once upon a time you were a victim or you were down, you were down and out. And then somebody swooped in, helped you, did everything. But now they want to keep you stuck in that role. And you're like, well, you know, I'm, I'm better now. I'm moving along. Not that you're not grateful, but you cannot stay a victim forever. But these people will... Um, become more uncomfortable with you. The more you step up, the more you step out, the more uncomfortable they become. But honestly, that is not your problem. That is not your problem to solve. That is their problem. They need to work out their issues. They need to talk to their coach. They need to talk to their therapist, actually, um, and work on their issues. They need to do their own inner work rather than try to force you to play a victim role or try to force you into a victimhood that is no longer your is is no longer your identity if it ever was because the truth is that everybody gets hit by life from time to time doesn't mean that you embody a victim identity just because something happened to you but there are some people who the minute something happens to you they swoop in like they're the savior and they try to keep you stuck in a victim identity almost like keeping you uh, because like I said they're addicted to being needed so they want to keep you in that position where you need them number seven they may call you ungrateful when you legitimately no longer need their help. Well, no, thank you. Uh, well, if it was before, you would have been so happy to get my, my help. Well, that was before when I needed the help. Now, this is not to say that if someone has helped you in the past, you should just brush them aside and walk off and never remember them again. No, there is something about acknowledging the people who have helped you on your way up. But those people should not be uh, trying to keep you down. They should be cheering you on as you go up. And the person that's not cheering you on as you go up higher is trying to um, see you as a victim that you are not. Finally, number eight, people who would rather have you as a victim than a victor, their help usually comes with strings. Remember I said they're addicted to being needed. Their help usually comes with strings. These people are very transactional. They're very quick to remember, oh, I did this for this person. I did this for this person. And, and these are the people who say things like, who a lot of times say things like, after all I've done for you. After all I've done for you. Like when this is someone's recurring refrain. Now there are people who you do stuff for them and they just move on or whatever and everyone has had that happen to them but if somebody's recurring refrain about you is after all i've done for you after all i've done for you then that means their help was transactional and not real help in the first place so beware of people who would rather have you as a victim than a victor and do your best to step away from the effect that their energy, their negative energy has on your emotional life. Step away from that. 
Surround yourself with people who see you for who you truly are. Surround yourself with people who see you, see your potential. Like, oh, you, you are, you're amazing. You're great. And you can do even greater things. So that even, even when you're not down and out, as it were, there's always going to be somebody cheering you on to the, to achieve the next step and the next step and the next step. So there it is. Like I said, be aware of people who would rather have you as a victim than a victor. <laughs>